welcome back to uh, Frank Herd YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain or try to explain the gear ratios. How do you calculate the gear ratios? How do you calculate the speed on a manual transmission? Uh, if you want to learn how a manual transmission works, you can uh, watch our other videos on how a manual transmission works. But today we're going to concentrate on how to calculate the gear ratio, which is a bit different than just regular gears. Okay, so we're going to, I've drawn it out on the board, but we'll start with this. We have our first gear here, we have our second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and on the outside we have our fifth gear. When we talk about shafts, we have our input shaft, we have our output shaft, so, and the uh, counter shaft. So power comes in through here power goes out through this shaft. Okay, I have uh, attempted to draw the same diagram replicating the transmission. Uh, so we have our first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and the fifth gear. Okay, And the number of teeth on each gear. The first gear has 32 teeth, second one 31, third 27, fourth 21. Fifth has got 25 gear, uh, teeth on the gear. And on the counter shaft, we have 51 teeth, 15, 25, 35, and 37. Okay, to calculate the, the gear ratio, the formula is pretty simple. So you have driven gear divided by drive gear. Right? So our drive gear, if we keep simple numbers, if our drive gear has 10 teeth, and driven gear has 20 teeth. So driven gear, 20 over 10, it gives you two to one ratio. If you divide those two, it gives you a ratio of two to one. Okay, when it comes to transmissions, it gets a bit more complicated than just two sets of gear where you have drive and driven gears. Okay, on a transmission, you have two different sets. You have a counter shaft and the shaft on the top. In this case, you have, that's your drive gear, this is your driven gear. This is gonna stay, doesn't matter which gear you are in, first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, that always stays as drive, this stays as driven gear. But now when we talk about second set of gears, in, when you're in first gear, that's your drive, here's your driven. Second gear, drive, driven. Third gear, drive, driven fourth gear, or sorry, fifth gear, drive, driven, okay? As I said, if you need to, if you are interested in learning how the power is transferred from input to the output shaft, please watch our other videos. Okay, so it's easy enough, drive, or driven gear, drive gear gives you the ratio. But on our transmission, it's not that easy because you have two set, different sets of gears. Our power comes in from the engine, okay, it goes through the gear, it goes to the counter, it goes to the counter shaft, and then depending on first, second, third, fourth, fifth gear, which gear you're in, it goes back out. So you're dealing with two separate sets of gears. Um, once again, if you're not sure how the power flows through the transmission, please watch our other video, which will make more sense then. Okay, so I've just drawn this to give you simple explanation how to calculate two separate sets of gears if, if that's a situation you're in. Okay. So we have the drive gear. So this one has five teeth, this one has ten teeth, that's your driven. And then this becomes the drive and this becomes the driven. So power comes through here, goes down, goes through here, and goes back up. Okay. That's where the power goes out to the wheels. Here's the power that comes from the engine. So we got to cal calculate the separate uh, sets of gears. So for calculating these, you have your driven gear, drive gear. 10, 5, it gives you, if you divide those two, it gives you 2 to 1 ratio. Okay. If we go out to the other sets of, set of gears, we have 20 teeth here, 2 here. 20 is your driven gear, 2 is your drive gear, back to the formula. It gives you 10 to 1 ratio. And now is what is different between having two sets of gears or a single. 
So now what you have to do is you have to multiply this set up here, the total ratio of these two sets of years and these two sets of years. So which gives us 10 multiplied by 2. 10 times 2 gives us 20. 1 multiplied by 1 gives us 1. So the total ratio between the input shaft and the output shaft, that's what we're talking about now. The total ratio, input versus output, is 20 to 1 ratio. Okay? So there's your input, there is your output, which means if this shaft is spinning 20 times, that is only going to spin once. When we put all this in perspective to our transmission, we have our engine on the input side, and we'll say the wheels are on the output shaft, which they are not, but just to keep it simple. So the power is coming in here. For first gear, power comes through here, down, up here, and out. In that case, we have to calculate the two separate sets of gears and multiply them together. We have to calculate the gear ratio between these two gears, where this is drive, there is your driven, and then these two sets of gears, where this becomes drive and that becomes driven. Okay? So if we start calculating that, if we calculate the ratio between these two, 37 teeth, 21, so driven gear, 37, 21 is our drive gear, which gives us the ratio of 1.76 to 1. Now we have to do the first gear. So there is your drive gear, there is your driven gear, 15 versus 32 teeth. So 32 driven, 15 drive, that gives us 20, uh, sorry, 2.13 to 1 gear ratio. So now we have the gear ratio of this gear, which is 1.76 to 1. We have the gear ratio of these two, 2.13 to 1. To find the, find the final gear ratio between input shaft and the output shaft, you multiply both, 1.76 multiplied by 2.13, our final gear ratio is 3.75 to 1, which means if the engine is spinning at 3.75 revolutions per minute, the output shaft is only spinning once. Okay, for second gear, same thing, in, out, okay? So we need these two and these two. We already have the ratio here, 1.761. 1. The ratio between these two is 31 over 25. That gives you 1.24 ratio one. You multiply these both, you get 2.18 to one. So that's your final, basically this one is spinning at 2.18 RPMs, the output will only spin once. Okay, third gear, same, coming in, out. So the ratio between these two and these two will give you the final. That will stay the same, these two that will stay the same. Third gear, we have 27. 35, which gives you decimal 771 to 1. You multiply both gears, you multiply these both gears, you get 1.36 to 1. That's your final input versus output shaft. Okay? Spinning at 1.36 revolutions per minute, the output will only spin once. Okay? In our fourth gear, basically the power supply just goes straight out. It comes in whatever RPMs your engine is spinning at, your output shaft spins at the same RPM. But just to keep everything in perspective, so if we keep these two drive driven and then backwards, that becomes your drive, that becomes driven, and goes out. So I have 37, 21, so 37, 21 gives us 1.76. If you flip it around, you have 21, 37, 21, 37, that gives you 0.57. You multiply both, it gives you 0.999 something, which is transfers to one. So your ratio is one to one. 
that spins at 1000 RPMs, the output sh shaft spins at 1000 RPMs. Okay, so uh, fifth gear, nothing different. We need to find the, the power comes in, goes out. So we need the ratio between these two gears and these two, and then we multiply them together. So fifth gear, that stays the same between these two. Fifth gear, we have 25, 51, so there's your driven gear, that's your drive gear, which gives us 0.49 to 1. So final, multiplying these both, gives us 0.86 to 1. So this is our overdrive gear. It spins, uh, as far as the speed goes, it's faster than the uh, engine. The wheel speed is faster than the engine speed. So that's our final uh, gear ratio for fifth gear. Just to uh, quick review, our first for our first gear, the final input versus output, 3.74 to 1. Second gear, 2.18 to 1. Third, 1.36 to 1. Fourth gear, 1 to 1 ratio. And fifth gear, 0.86 to 1. Now we are going to take it a step further. We're going to find out, we're going to look at how to find out what is input shaft versus output shaft speed ratio. So let's say that the in input shaft, which is coming from the engine, if the engine is running at 1000 RPMs, what is the output shaft running at in first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and Okay, to find the ratios, uh, or the, the ratio between input and output, so to find the input IP versus output OP RPMs, there's a formula. The formula is output shaft RPMs multiplied by the driven gear, depending on first, second, third, fourth, equal to input RPMs multiplied by the drive gear. In this case, we are input RPMs are coming from the engine. Output RPMs are, let's say, wheels. There is obviously there is a differential between the wheels and uh, transmission, but that's your output RPMs. Okay. Okay. Now we need our drive and driven gear ratio for the formula. So for our first gear, there is your driven, there is your drive. Second gear, driven, drive. Third, driven, drive. Fourth, driven, drive. Fifth, there is your driven, and there is your drive. Just keep those numbers in mind. Okay, so if we punch in everything in the equation for first gear, so first gear, there is your driven gear, there is your drive gear. So that was our output, that was our input. Okay. We're not talking about input art. Over here, we're just talking about gears. For this, we're going to be talking about the RPMs. Don't confuse those two things. So if we put everything in formula, we have our output multiplied by driven gear. So we got that from first gear, right here, driven gear, equal to that number we made up. Let's say that the RPM for the engine, I just try to, I'm trying to keep the numbers simple. So let's say that our engine is running at 1000 RPM. So that's our Input RPMs. Input RPMs, 1000 RPM, multiplied by 1, which we got from here. So that's our drive gear. By using a simple algebra, uh, we can transpose that equation to solve for unknown, which is our output. So if we start solving this equation, 1000 multiplied by 1 just gives us 1000. And if you follow algebra, Anything that multiplies on one side of the equal sign, and when you take it to the other side, it divides. So 1,000 divided by, so we have taken this onto the other side of the equal sign, 3.74. You solve this part, you get 267.38. So let's say 267 RPMs, okay? That's the output. So to put everything in perspective, if your engine is running at 1000 RPMs in first gear, 
If your engine is running at 1,000 RPMs and we take out the differential from in between um, the transmission and the wheels, then your wheels, the output, the wheels will be spinning at 267 RPMs. So you have in first gear low RPMs, but you have more torque. Okay. For our second gear, our gear ratio between the driven gear versus drive gear is 2.18 versus 1. Okay. And if we put everything in equation, for second gear, 2.181. So there's your driven, there's your drive. You solve the equation, you get 458.72. If your engine is running at 1,000 RPMs, your wheels, they're running at 458 RPMs. Okay, for our third gear, going back, so this is a gear we're dealing with. So there is our driven gear, there's our drive gear, 1.3621. Okay, let's try putting that in the formula. So third gear, 1.3621. Plug everything in through the formula, you get 300. Uh, sorry, 700, 735.29 by solving that. Just putting it in perspective, engine is running at 1,000 RPMs. The wheels are running at 735 RPMs. Okay, for our fourth gear, the simplest one because the gear ratio between the driven gear and the drive gear is one to one. So if we punch that in into our formula, fourth gear one to one, that one goes right there, that one goes right here. Engine is still running at 1000 RPMs. When you solve the equation, you get 1000, which means if your engine is running at 1000 RPMs, the wheels are running at 1000 RPMs. Okay, our last gear for this transmission, fifth gear, we're looking at the driven gear. There's your driven, there is your drive again, just a reminder. So our driven gear, 0.86 to 1, that's a gear ratio. And we go back and forth, plug that everything in the formula. Fifth gear, 0.86 to 1. Okay, that's there. You solve it, that's the number you get. Which means your engine is spinning at 1000 RPMs, your wheels are spinning at 1,162 RPMs, which is faster than your engine. Okay, to summarize everything, let's say our engine is running at 1,000 RPMs. Okay. In first gear, this shaft, the output shaft, runs at about 267 RPMs, which is a lot slower than what your engine is running. This is where you're burning a lot more gas. Okay, if you drive in first gear, but you have more torque, so you can take off from a stop, red light or a stop sign, you can take off from that. In second gear, still at 1000 RPMs, in second gear, this shaft spins at a bit faster than first gear, so your speed goes up roughly 458. Third gear, it goes even higher. In fourth gear, if your engine is running at 1000 RPMs, your output shaft is running at 1,000 RPM, exactly the same, okay? And when you go in overdrive, your fifth gear, if this is spinning at 1,000 RPMs, the output shaft spins at about 11, 1,162 RPMs, which is faster than the engine, okay? So this is your top speed. Um, and this is where you save gas, okay? Uh, thank you for watching our channel. Hopefully this made a bit of sense. I hope I didn't confuse you more. If you really need to, if you haven't seen our previous videos on how the, the transmission works, please watch those first before you attempt this one.